Olaf Tryggvason, was king of Norway, who was daring, ambitious and talented, and one of the most famous Viking kings for what he had done during his reign. He is seen as an important factor in the conversion of the Norse to Christianity. Olaf is said to have built the first Christian church in Norway in 995. Olaf was the son of short-lived Norwegian king Tryggvi Olafsson, and Astrid Eriksdottir, daughter of Erik Bjordaskal. Olaf's mother fled from Norway to Orkney Island while she was pregnant, to escape the killers of Olaf's father, led by Harald Greycloak. Greycloak and his brothers had seized the throne from Harkon the Good. Astrid fled to her father's home, and then went on to Sweden, where she thought she would be safe. Greycloak sent ambassadors to the King of Sweden, and asked for permission to take the boy back to Norway, where he would be raised. But Astrid fled again, this time the destination was Kiev, where Astrid's brother Sigfurd was in the service of Vladimir the Great. Unfortunately, in the Baltic Sea they were attacked and captured by Estonian Vikings. Olaf fell into the hands of man named Clarkson, with his foster father Thorolf and his son Thorgils. Clarkson considered Thorolf too old to be useful as a slave, so he killed him, and Olaf was then sold to a man called Rees for a fine cloak. Sigurd soon encountered the boys, and learned Olaf's identity. He took both boys to the court at Novgorod, where they lived under the protection of Vladimir. One day Olaf encountered Clarkson, his enslaver who murdered his foster father. He killed Clarkson with an axe blow to the head. Soon Vladimir became aware of Olaf's popularity with the men. Vladimir stopped treating Olaf as a friend, before the problem could grow Olaf decided to leave. After leaving Novgorod, Olaf started raiding around the Balkans, and made a name for himself as a warrior. He sailed into the territory of King Burislief of Wendland, where he met Queen Gera. She invited Olaf to stay with her for few days, soon the pair agreed to marry. Olaf then joined an army of Saxons, Franks, Frisians gathered by the Holy Roman Emperor Otto II, to deal with the Danish Vikings, who were still pagans at this time and convert them to Christianity. Otto's army met King Harald Bluetooth and Harkon Jarl, the ruler of Norway, at a great wall near Schleswig. The pair was defeated and won a large battle there. Otto forced Harald Bluetooth and Harkon with their armies to convert to Christianity. Harald embraced the new religion, but Harkon returned to worshipping the pagan gods when he came home. After Olaf had spent three years in Wendland, his wife Gera died, so he left Wendland due to his grief, and set out to plunder and raid Friesland. He eventually landed on the Scilly Isles, where his life changed forever. He heard of a great seer who lived there. He tested the seer before visiting, sending a decoy in his place, but they were immediately detected. Now convinced he was seer, Olaf went to see himself. The seer prophesied that, he would be attacked and almost die, but would make a full and miraculous recover. After this recover, he would convert to Christianity and become a great king. After the meeting mutineers attacked Olaf, and he was wounded badly but survived, as a result he converted to Christianity. Rumors began to surface in Norway, that a king of Norwegian blood making a name. This worried the Norwegian ruler Harkon, who sent a man named Thora to Ireland. Harkon told Thora that if it is him, lure him back to Norway. But Thora befriended Olaf, and told him of the situation in Norway. Olaf seized the opportunity, and sailed for Norway to wage a war on Harkon. When he arrived, many men had already revolted against Harkon, and he went into hiding. Olaf then offered a reward for Harkon's head, immediately his servant chopped off Harkon's head and took it to Olaf. But rather than reward, Olaf had him beheaded as well. After becoming the king of Norway, Olaf traveled to the parts of Norway, demanding that they all be baptized and most reluctantly they agreed. Olaf continued to promote Christianity throughout his reign. He baptized the explorer Leif Eriksson, who took a priest with him to Greenland, to convert the rest of his people. Olaf's ambition was to rule a united Christian Scandinavia, so he proposed a marriage to Sigrid the Haughty of Sweden. But she refused him, because he forced her to convert to Christianity. Olaf involved himself in a quarrel with King Swain Forkbeard, 
by marrying her sister Tyra who had fled from her husband. The combined forces of Sweden, Denmark and sons of Harkon waged war on him. Olaf lost the battle, and reportedly committed suicide by jumping into the sea in full armor. According to some rumors Olaf escaped death at Svolder, 